Hey, what is up guys? And here with a YouTube video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own outro with Photoshop for your YouTube channel, you know, any kind of video intro or outro um, you're gonna use. This is the perfect way this makes it it's customizable and you're making your own with Photoshop and it looks super sweet. But before we get into that uh, whole video, I don't know if you noticed already, but I have a webcam now and I'm planning on using it on all of my uh, videos I do on my screen, along with gaming videos. So I'll have a game, webcam, or whatever, along with like, Whenever I'm doing videos like this, Photoshop tutorials, stuff like that, um, I'm gonna have a webcam. So if you like this, like this webcam, um, I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is. It's a Logitech C920. It's a really good webcam. It actually auto focuses if it'll focus on my hand. I'm not sure. Um, so it's pretty. It's a pretty high, good, pretty good quality um, webcam. But I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. On with this video. Okay. So basically. Um, what you want to do is you want to open up your Photoshop, obviously. What we're going to do, we're going to make the video, we're going to make the Photoshop, make it in Photoshop, and then we're going to edit it in my video editor and all that mess. So, um, to start off, open up your Photoshop and click File, <clears throat> click New, and doesn't matter here, put this, the width, you know, height, 720, if you're running high definition 720p like I am, then you'd put 1280 by 720 and make sure those are both pixels. Um, and the background doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just set this to transparent so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Okay, so we have this. This is the um, this is what your, your intro outro is going to be, the main screen of it. First thing you want to do is you want to click on your rectangular tool on the uh, left bar on the side. And you want to draw the rectangular, uh, or a rectangle the size of the 1,200 by 720p. Um, click on your little move tool here and press Control T so we can size this just the same size as the... Uh, um, the freaking uh, 1,200 by 720p. My bad. <coughs> I was just like zoning out there a little bit. But anyways, um, now you want to on the right side here. Once it's selected, you'll have a properties live shape properties. You'll have this little thing here, this uh, little white part, whatever color it is. You want to after you press enter. Um, you want to click on this here, and you want to select what color <coughs> you want your your main page to be. There is a color wheel kind of thing here, but um, my favorite color is this color. It's my recent. It's kind of a dark blue. I kind of like it, so, or I like it, but that's what I'm going to use for this video. <clears throat> but um, so after you've got your color selected, you want to go down on the right side where it says the uh, rectangle one, basically, and you want to double click on it out on the side, not on the actual rectangle part. And um, you'll have the layer stock. Oh, what did I just do? What on earth did I just? Do? Oh, my bad. Okay, there we go. What the heck? I don't know what I just did to my freaking cancel. All right, I don't know what that was. I like scrolled through some. All right, basically you have this down here. You want to go to your gradient. This is what, personally, this is what makes it look the best for me. Um, select gradient, and the gradient page will cut this gradient. This is what it'll look like. Um, and you can basically click on the little gradient thing here and adjust how you want the white or what color you want it to be. It can be different colors. If you double click on it, you can pick a different color, like a red or something. But I want white because it looks really nice. Okay, so let's click OK there. That's I kind of want it more the top and the center about right there okay so that's what I that looks pretty yeah it's center enough all right so that's what I want there for the whole entire that for the main part of the page now I'm actually going to make click file click a new and I'm gonna create another one another uh, page here I guess and we're gonna set this to white it doesn't really matter just white is what I'm gonna stick with so you have another one another uh, another one another one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. all right um so now you have another uh, <laughs> page here and you actually it's gonna be another or another like Photoshop file and it's gonna be up at the top you want to select on it pull it down so it actually pulls it out like it like pulls it out where it's a box and you want to click on it and slide it over to your to the um, our first like our, our outro is gonna be and you can X out of it and it's the exact same size but what we want to do is we want to press control T press shift and hold and drag this thing down and make it and basically what I did here is one this is that thing right like this right here is 1720 it's basically what the same resolution like size and everything that our videos are gonna be um, when we edit it so basically what this right here why I did this box here um, basically what this is gonna be is gonna be like a previous video so when the whenever you, your viewers get to the end of your videos they see this right here in this white there's gonna be a video over this white part but this is just like a guideline for where I'm gonna put it at so I kind of put this on the over my intro outro and I just put a video on top of it so basically we want to center this in the middle and it's lined up with our gradient just fine. What you want to do now is we're going to double click on this layer 
and we're gonna scroll down to the drop shadow and you just click on it and these are the settings I have it set to normal opacity 100% not global lighting zero distance 10 spread and 43 size everything else the same I click OK and what this does is it basically um, makes the whole stand the part that part stand out now your video is gonna the video is gonna be covering the white part but still gonna have the shadow effect around it so it's gonna really make your previous video stand out like the actual video so now what we're gonna do we're actually gonna apply that same drop shadow here in a second um, we're actually going to um, make a text box here and we're gonna make it pretty big and what you want to do is you want to um, this is like the previous video but you want to first you want to you want to make them you want to thank them for watching your video all the way to the end <clears throat> so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say thanks for watching if this is not gonna be big enough page I'll still type it and then slide it out a little bit okay there we go so thanks for watching now we're gonna slide that and put that towards the top this is a little bit too high so let's pull that down make sure it's in the center okay and pull this down okay so there we go and actually let's put it up a little bit all right so now it says thanks for watching now we want this to stand out too so we're gonna double click on it and we're just gonna click on drop shadow and it should have the same settings as what we had on the box so you're not gonna have to change any settings in there so it's thanks for watching it's standing out <clears throat> my bad and along with having the uh, the page where your previous video is gonna be <clears throat> Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our subscribers know that that video is our previous video. So what we're going to say is we're going to say previous right here, previous, I think it's about previous. And let's make sure that this is up here so it's not going to be weird whenever we're trying to center it. And let's pull it right over here so we get the line. Okay. Now we're going to double click on it and we're also going to put the drop shadow in as well. So they know that that's the previous video and that we're thankful for them watching our video. I am thankful for you watching the video if you're this far, so please be sure to leave a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. There was recently some kind of like subscriber purge, and a bunch of us lost subscribers. So um, all the likes matter, and I'm trying to build my uh, subscriber account back up. I know it was kind of slowed down, but I'm going to stick to a schedule, and I'm getting off topic, and I should really do another video. But anyways, on with the video. <clears throat> uh, basically, after you have that part down, you have the part where it says, thanks for watching, has this part here, has the previous part. Now we're actually going to add our have our social media links, like where... Like where if they want, like after they've seen the video, like oh I want to follow them, whatever. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to open, and um, I'm going to go down to my I think it's in pictures. Yeah, it's pictures 256. This is a uh, it's a tank or it's not tank. It's a icon icon page like where you can get lots of different social media icons. I will leave a link in the description below for this website. Basically, they provide all the social media icons for most of uh, your social media social media is out there. And this one's like halfway bugged. I don't know what happened. It was it wasn't this way before, but um, I think I have it somewhere. I have uh, some more of these elsewhere. Maybe. Oh wait, no, I don't think I do. Okay, so I guess I'll just stick with these. That's okay. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is we want to have all those social media links that we want them to follow us at. So I want them to follow me on Twitter, and maybe on I'll have a YouTube link and my snapchat and what is that you and I'll actually I'm gonna deselect this one I'm gonna select this one since it's about the circle and uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do that the Instagram one kinda got corrupted down all those black ones I don't know what happened there but we're gonna click open and it opened all three of them at the same time because we pressed we held control down when we were watching this we were selecting all those so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna drag them all down and it's actually going to make them all three down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag them since there's a PNG file. We're going to actually drag them onto our page here. Let's drag all, th drag all three. Okay, X out of here, X out of here, X out of here. Okay, so now we've got our three social media links that are social media icons we want. Let's press Control T on the Twitter one, make it small enough. Let's put that there. Now we want the Snapchat to be the same. So let's make it where it's squared up with the uh, Twitter, Control T, hold Shift down, make it where it's the same size. Oh, what did I do wrong here? That's about the same size. Yeah, the same size. Okay, so this is going to be in the middle. Actually, I'm going to put this one over the side. And then let's press our Control T, make this the same size as Snapchat. Enter. Okay, so now we've got our three different ones we want here now they're about the same apart okay so basically what we're gonna have here is our different social media links I'm actually planning on putting it like this up here this one over here and the YouTube one down below 
I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to have the YouTube one just because you're already on my YouTube channel anyways. So I'm just going to have my Twitter one and my Snapchat one. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is, um, since this is, since this is white, so why don't we make this one white as well? So we're going to double click on our layer 4 and we're going to put a color overlay of white. Perfect. Okay, so now it really stands out. And we, you know what, we'll actually even put a drop shadow on that. Put drop shadows on everything. Sweet, that makes it stand out even more. Now color overlay on the uh, Snapchat along with drop shadow. Cool, okay, cool, that looks, that looks pretty good actually. Um, now we want our Snapchat and our Twitter on each side. So in um, this is also kind of like a uh, promotion for my <laughs> Snapchat and Twitter. So. If you're not following me on Snapchat and Twitter, be sure to follow me on there to keep up with my uh, my personal life. Okay, so um, on our Twitter one, we're actually going to make another. We get our text box, and you're going to make a text box and fill it, put at, and put whatever your uh, Twitter name is or whatever your social media link this is. And this is a little too big here, so I'm actually going to put this font down to maybe a 48 because I don't want it huge or anything. Okay, so actually let's scoot this over and then put this right here. So like that. Now we're gonna have our Snapchat. We're gonna put this one over here towards this side about the same width apart from the um, edge over here. Okay, now we're actually going to do our Snapchat. And since Snapchat doesn't have a at symbol in it, I'm just gonna put um, Andy Eno because that's what my uh, Snapchat is. And then we'll put this over here up next to my Snapchat. About that far away, okay. And now it's not the same level as it. There we go, right, right there. Okay, and I guess we'll probably put a drop shadow on these as well. Drop shadow, and uh, where's it at? And drop shadow. Okay, now we are done with our main part. Now it gets to the part we're gonna be in um, Camtasia because that's what my editing software is. So basically, we're gonna save first, click file, save as. Um, let's put this on our desktop and let's put it as a PNG file and let's name it. Uh, let's see, what we're gonna oh, let's name it outro, I guess. I don't know why I'm, outro, desktop, and we're gonna click save. Okay, click OK, and then it's gonna save it. Okay, so we're done with Photoshop now. I'm just gonna keep it minimized. Now let me open up my Camtasia, which is the uh, editing software I do to edit all my videos. Um, I might actually do a video in the future of me actually showing you how I edit my actual videos, like the full videos, but this is just an outro, so it's not really too much. So once we have Camtasia open, I, this is what I do. I click Import Media, and you, you can do this with whatever software you use, but I use this is what I use. Okay, so I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to pick up where I saved my outro. So press Control and select it, open. Okay, so I've got that. Now, for an outro, you have to have a, a music, a drop or whatever, so whenever... Um, like, a, like whenever you're at the end of the video, it's going to build up and it's going to go boom and it's going to hit and that's going to, your outro is going to pop up. So what we're going to do is I actually have music downloaded for this in my YouTube videos. Okay. So music, I have a video or a music from, um, NCS, no copyright sounds. They're a really good website or so, really good YouTube channel that I use all my, uh, music for. So if you haven't followed or subscribed to them, that's where you get all my, that's where I get all my NCS or all my, uh, no copyright music. So basically I've found a a uh, song I wanted to use that has the drop and it's called uh, Back From The Dead. I don't know, I had a pretty good drop so I got that one. I downloaded it. Um, so I got, uh, okay, so we have that selected. Now we're pretty much done with the whole, with everything else like, um, and it, we're, we're done with everything else selecting except unless you want to do something for video wise. So I can actually go into like, we'll go into like, uh, we'll go into capture. We'll pick up some Rocket League gameplay here. So let's just pick up like, this just some gameplay of random Rocket League. All right, so basically what you're gonna do, is my image, I'm gonna drag it down onto my uh, timeline here, and basically however long you want your intro to be. So um, we don't obviously don't want more than 10 seconds. So we'll say just for now, like about that long, and we're gonna actually do some more editing. So um, I'm actually gonna have to have my headphones on for this. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna look like whenever we're doing gaming videos. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we've got our outro on here. Now I'm gonna actually drag my song down. It'll let me pull it down here. Okay, sorry for that. That I actually uh, met, uh, forgot to. I had to have a. Uh, w it has to be a wave, a WAV file, not an MP3 file for Camtasia. So I just had to convert it with Audacity. But um, basically, you want to have a WAV as your audio, and we're just gonna drag it down. And obviously, it's way too long. We don't need a super long video like that. 
or outro like that and we're gonna have to chop a lot of that off so let's just go ahead and bring it a lot back we just want the drop part and we're gonna get to where I think it's around the three second mark is when it hit yeah see that's where it hits it has the mark there so we're just gonna cut this off till we get to right here and this is where the drop parts gonna be at and it's through the roof with the audio so we're actually gonna turn that down just a tad because I don't want you blowing your ears out and um, we're gonna actually raise it up it's gonna volumes gonna be fade in so it's actually gonna go up so I'm gonna drag it up like this and then we're gonna bring it down towards the end and make it much shorter here um, so like that and then it'll should be about the same okay so that's what's gonna look like on there um, and then I'm going to go to the transitions put a fade on my outro along with a audio fade out so it'll go in just right so this is what it should sound like oh before we do that actually let's get our clip in and put in our gameplay so I'm gonna just drag my gameplay onto the screen here if it'll let me come on oh there it is okay so now our, this is our Rocket League gameplay so this is what I was talking about it's on top right but we can select it to size and we're just gonna drag it down and it's gonna fit perfectly with our white part so let's make it where it's just right um, I can get it. I can't really do this right without just like that I think uh, let me deselect it yeah perfectly so if it's just over the white it still has the shadow around it and has our gameplay so now also we don't want it this super long and we're gonna right click on there right click on our gameplay separate audio and video delete the audio because we just want the gameplay this is what I do with all my uh, with the ends that's what I do on everyone and now we're going to actually zoom this up a little bit and this is what it should sound like so at the end of my video it's gonna come in like this and at the when I say I'll see you guys next time whatever then this happens and at the same time it's gonna that's way too loud actually Hold on. Uh, let's just bring this down okay and here we go Oh, I, forgot to, I forgot to put the transition on the video you're just gonna put a transition on there but basically I know it seems that this is the front of the video but it's actually the outro so at the end of my video it's gonna flash from my video to this outro so at the same time of the beat so it's gonna be like and then it'll fade out just like that and that's pretty much it for the outro. I'm actually probably going to use that outro from now on. It looks pretty good. I like the uh, whole look of it. Um, except for the whole uh, Rocket League thing because I don't want that for every single one. <laughs> so um, basically that's it for this video, guys. Or uh, Actually, I got to... What am I doing this in the video? Um, once you're done with it, you're going to produce and share, you know, set it up. I have a YouTube preset. Press next. You know, name it. Whatever you want to name it. Um, so like outro, I guess. Outro. And then select my YouTube and then editing and I can replace this outro I'm gonna actually I might keep that outro I'm just gonna name this outro 2 and save it and click finish and then it'll basically render your outro and once it's done it shouldn't take too long it's pretty short now I can exit out of here I don't need to save this let's open up our YouTube app here or whatever go to editing and our outro 2 here it is <laughs> And then it'll fade out. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you like this video, it's kind of a way longer uh, video than I do usually. But um, if you're able to stay through this whole video and this video helped you out a lot, be, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Like I said earlier, some kind of YouTube purge has been going on and I've had to struggle trying to get. I'm just going to start putting a lot more videos up now. Um, probably videos every three or four days now it's summertime and I'm actually have more time and I have a lot of new YouTube a lot of new YouTube video ideas for you guys so um, I'd, I'd be really appreciative if you leave a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below some kind of feedback just so I know where y'all guys are at um, but thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys next time